टू वे डेटा बाइंडिंग इन रियक्ट जेस वेलकम टू कोडिंग लॉकर गाइस दिस इज चंद कश्वरियानी एंड इन टुडेज पार्ट वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन अचीव टू वे डेटा बाइंडिंग जस्ट अ क्विक रीकैप व्हाट वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव क्रिएटेड और वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन पास मेथड एज अ रेफरेंस टू द कंपोनेंट आल्सो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन पास दिस डायनेमिक डेटा टू आवर मेथड्स लाइक हियर राइट now here we will introduce two way data binding for that i will have to make a change in the employee.js let's suppose there is a input type of text type text let me at first print its value and we have the value available in props.name let me close this and control s let it compile at first i just want to make sure i have a text box which prints the value so it is compiling okay we have abc printed here next what i want if i make any change here in the input box right so it should update in the label as well so how do i do so so i have to create a method called on change right this is what we create so whenever you make any change it gets executed and on that i want to call a method which will change the state now you can see i do not have the method available here but now we are familiar that how we introduce the methods the way the way we introduce in the part, previous part so here instead of this method let's suppose let me create one more method and i can name it like name change handler or anything like update name state handler now here instead of this update name i will get it directly from the text box using this event and i need to pass this event here event dot target dot value so what i have done i have introduced a method now next i need to pass this method so how do i pass this method that is again going to be the same way which we did here so let me press enter here my change so you can name it anything this is your custom name my change inside that this dot update name state handler so update state name handler will always by default have the event and whatever is written in the text box should be added to this employee's name now we have to call this my change method in the employee.js so props dot my change so we have uh, done in a same fashion the way we have did it for on click event where we have passed this my click method same we have done for my change so let's save all the changes let it compile and after that we will try to add something in the text box and see have we achieved the two way binding or not let it compile then so let me update this is updated one exactly what we wanted to achieve so that is all for today's video if you guys have any query or doubt you can always text me you can pass any comment in the youtube i'll be happy to answer any query and uh, thank you for being at coding locker have a nice day see you in the next